Hawaiian Humane Society and Honolulu Police are investigating a traffic accident in which a horse was killed. It happened about 11 o'clock yesterday morning in the eastbound lanes, westbound lanes, excuse me, of the H1 freeway just before the Pearl City off-ramp. KITV4's Jody Leong tells us the Hawaiian Humane Society says the horse trailer was not legal. Firefighters tried to comfort the horse on the H1 freeway shortly after the crash. Investigators say strong winds may have caused the trailer to jackknife and tip over. Witnesses say the horse got loose when its trailer overturned. Police shut down three lanes of the freeway while they cleared the scene. The veterinarian who took care of the horse immediately after the accident said he suffered a hind leg wound, an injured hip that bled significantly, and other superficial wounds. Firefighters and veterinarian Manuel Jimenez tried to stop the bleeding, but Jimenez told KITV4 just three hours after the accident, the horse's legs buckled, he lay down and died. He was five or six years old. Jimenez says a horse was not euthanized but may have died of a ruptured spleen. Yesterday's uh, events was a tragic accident. The Hawaiian Humane Society says a trailer carrying the horse appeared to be a makeshift trailer not specifically designed to transport horses. We believe that the trailer is insufficient and unsafe and illegal for transporting horses. The Humane Society says there is a law that requires a specific design for horse trailers. The trailer includes full enclosure and adequately supports the weight of the animal. The Humane Society and police are investigating, and although the Humane Society feels laws were broken in this case, it'll be up to police to enforce the laws. Jody Leon, KITV4 News. The Humane Society says the owner faces various motor vehicle violations and could be cited by the end of the week. The horse owner was not available for comment.